Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about who is at fault for the whole MTG drama. Before we begin, I will mention that MTG headquarters on Sleeve Media has said to Wizard of the Coast, which I believe has blocked him, he will stop it all. It all stops if they reverse the bannings and return his collection. I think that's a reasonable demand, and if I were Wizard of Coast, I would do it. But Wizard of Coast is at fault for Christine leaving. It absolutely is. She left because she wasn't making good money. I fully believe that she should have been making good money. Imagine Nike. And Nike taking images of any athlete or any person and not paying the person what they are worth. But using this person to represent their brand. So she got all the attention and all the hatred, all the trolling associated with being the face of a brand, but she didn't get the payment that should have came to her. Now, I was reading an article. This is an article HQ is very proud of, and he agrees with this article. H. Jeremy agrees with this article. I'm just going to read it to you. Wizard of Coast treatment and exploitation of Sprankle is the most under-discussed scandal. They used and abuse Sprankle. I absolutely agree with this. I tr try to put in words of why you know, Christine is the, the victim. And this is what the person who wrote this article concludes. That yes, she is the only innocent party in this whole thing. Because Wizard of the Coast generated millions of dollars a year by using her likeness and name and advertisements. It was Sprankle this. It was this picture. It was her GP, it was this costume. She was the face of magic, but only they don't, didn't have to pay her. Does that sound like a program that we currently have involving judges where they don't pay anyone? No one is paid. They're making, let's imagine a company makes $100 and it has all these promotional value. Even a monthly magic box in Pico Trade knew how to pay off its, you know, end promoters. Here, in this case, they are using her pictures, they're using her likeness, they're using her name to push their brand, yet they're not compensating her of, or giving her anything of equal value. That is insane to me. Sprinkle not acknowledged Wizard Coast only paid her twice a year, and for all other events, she was not compensated. They certainly used her likeness and advertised she would appear at those unpaid events, though. This is the core issue, and I think I, I have to do a really good job explaining this from my marketing perspective. When we have a Kardashian or we have Kevin Durant, actually, you know him, he's in Golden State Warriors, but when he was in OKC, we had him and Westbrook making commercials for us, for one of my clients. Well, we paid them out the nose, right? They got free cars, and we paid them out the nose. Because that is what they are worth. We are using their likeness in a TV commercial about cars. You can, you can, uh, it's Edmund Hyundai, by the way, if you are curious to see the commercial. But it is absolutely insane to me that Christine was never paid. I mean, she had an interview and then she had a video where. She was begging for money, and this is what HQ is attacking her over and over for it, but that should never have been an issue. So she had the fame and the trolls, but she wasn't being paid an annual salary. And that created this interesting dynamic that should never have existed in the first place. If Wizard of the Coast were so concerned, why did they manipulate her for years? Why did they squeeze, squeeze value out of Sprankle's persona while offering her nothing but a hotel room and a meal? Because Wizard of the Coast doesn't have an inkling of concern for the well-being of their players. Wizard of the Coast is a business which profits from players who they know are, at best, damaged goods. All they care about is making money. There we go. So I've been trying to explain this concept and many of you have taken it as I support Christine and I absolutely do, but I support her because I think the larger issue is very simple. Why does Tolarian have to promote the Pico trade and the monthly magic box? Why does Wedge have to do it? Because they're not being paid. They are not being paid. 
I am, I mean, I'm very upset at Wizard of the Coast for not paying Christine because she is the face of magic and now she left. This is part of being an employer and having people under that you work with that you one of my empl employees, she's pregnant with her second child. I understand it's difficult. She gets to work at home. She's eight and a half months pregnant. I don't expect her to drive an hour to come to the office uh, in Houston traffic. No, we pay her at home and we give her as much as we can. We're a small company, but it is you take care of your, you take care of the people closest to you, like their family, and they will eventually work harder for you. They will do more for you. They will be more for you. And this is what drives me insane about Wizards of the Coast. Judges. Who would be a better advocate for the game than a judge? A judge. Yet they are treated so poorly. Incredibly poorly by Wizards of the Coast. They're not paid. They're not employees. Yet that is your biggest fan. I could not imagine treating any of the people who work for me like this. I couldn't imagine, oh, hey, Presley or Maddie or something. We're going to just, or Isabel. I'm going to use your image and not pay you. They all get paid. They all get paid week bi weekly. Like, there's a paycheck for them. Like, yes, some of them don't like want to be make magic videos, and that's okay. Most of the guys that we work with don't want to be in magic videos because they don't play magic. They play League of Legends. The crazy part here is a very, very simple example of how C made a video. I supported the video. My support video of her video is still in this channel saying that She had $60 hurt to her name. She was crying. She moved in with her mother in a trailer. She's a very independent, strong woman. And yet she was forced to do that. Wizards of Coast didn't get, they give her a like. This is your brand. This is the most important brand ambassador you have to the game. And you let this happen. No way I would ever let my employees do this. Like I, I mean, no way I would be like, all right, you know, I will, um, you know, during the hurricane, um, when Isabel left, we, we gave her money, right? To help her. I gave her money to help her. And that was it. I didn't ask for anything. Cause that's being a human being. So this corporation is super corrupt. I'm not going to any of these events anymore because now Channel 5 will have to monopoly. You know, monopolies in history haven't gone very well because they're monopolies. Uh, you know, eventually the quality will slip or the prices will get higher and higher and higher. That's just how, I mean, unless this is a different monopoly than every other monopoly in, in a history book, we know what the end result is, is bad service and, and horribly expensive prices for these GPs. Because why would we want, why would we compete when we don't have to? So at the end of the day, I feel really, truly sad for Christine because Wizards of the Coast, how do you let your most important asset live in a trailer park with $60 to her name? If you give her a salary, even if it's $30,000 a year, she can get her own place, she can love magic more, and she will love your brand. She will never leave it. She will be stronger than even Elspeth. And that's all it cost. Are you blanking insane, Wizard of the Coast? Are you blanking insane when, and on Jeremy's issue, I mean, he turned a person who was just opening products and, you know, had somewhat not positive things to say sometimes, but he was opening products and supporting magic with his own money. They turn him into like, I mean, he's the biggest danger to Magic the Gathering right now. Like he, he, this danger did not have to exist. Just give him what he wants. Like he doesn't, I don't think what he's asking for is like totally unreasonable. But it is with great sadness that I feel for Christine because I, if, if Christine was my employee or she was working for me as a vendor or something like that, 
it would never get to her having moved to move to her, her mother's trailer. It would never. And you can ask all my the people I work with. You can all ask all the vendors. I would put your, the expenses on my own credit card, and I have because I'm a startup. And I'm lucky and blessed enough to be where I am today because people have helped me. And those people who help me, I'm definitely loyal to. You can't pay for loyalty. You cannot. Loyalty is earned and it's gained. There's a reason Christine is leaving this game. And it's not 100% Jeremy. And I never was. She cited Jeremy as an example. But the main reason is Wizard of Coast didn't give her didn't give her the incentive to stay. I, I, it is absurd to me. Um, it is very, very difficult for me to understand why Wizard of the Coast did not make Christine a full-time salary employee. When they used her everywhere, they promoted her like crazy. You cannot live on free airplane tickets and meals. She was the most important brand ambassador for Magic the Gathering I've ever seen. And Wizard Coast let her go because they were too cheap to afford to pay her. And they were too cheap to give Jeremy his collection back. And now Jeremy, who we could say was slightly angry at Wizard Coast, partially neutral, I guess, is now Wizard of the Coast's largest enemy. I mean, it could all have been prevented easily. Anyway, leave me a comment below if you agree or disagree. Uh, also, if this video gets X amount of likes, I don't know what X is, just shoot for the moon, guys. I will be making a video on Wedge and TCG Player. Bye, guys.